Hello YouTubers! Today I'm going to do a video showing you some of my new favorite products that I've been trying out over the past couple of weeks and they're amazing so stick around. Okay so first is the Olay Mascara Makeup Remover. This is great. Amazing product. Um, it smells really good. I'm a sucker for smells. I like fruity, fresh, like clean smells and this smells really clean. I usually use the Matte Pro Makeup Remover. Um, that is really good for, I find, like cleaning up shapes in your eye and stuff like that. But I find this works really good for um, removing like your overall makeup, like at the end of the day, your eye makeup. I find it's a lot gentler than MAC and it also lasts a lot longer because it is a cream and when I remove my makeup I use the cotton balls and I find that the MAC Pro Makeup Remover like sucks into the cotton ball. So like I look at my makeup remover and I'm like holy cow, it used up like a lot. So I like this a lot better than the MAC Pro Makeup Remover. It works really well and it smells good. Um, my facial cleanser that I usually use, Clear Cell, Acne, Advantage, whatever, stopped working on my skin for some reason. I guess my skin kind of got immune to it. I don't know if any of you guys have ever experienced that before. But my friend uses has been using this facial cleanser for like a couple years now. And she says it still does the same thing she did when she first bought it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try it. Um, it's the St. Ives Apricot Cleanser, the blemish fighting, the non-scrub. It looks like this. Hold on. It's just like a cream. I don't know if you can see. Oh, there you go. There's those little micro beads in there. They're like exfoliating beads. They don't um, they don't dissolve when you wash your face. So they stay there the whole time when you're like washing your face. And it feels really nice on your skin. Gets rid of dead skin cells and all that stuff. Um, this I really like so far. It has salicylic acid in it too, which is really good for acne prone skin. And it just feels really fresh after you wash your face. It feels clean and rejuvenated. And the smell of this, again, is awesome. Um, then I ran out of my moisturizer that I usually use. My Dove Day Moisture in the bottle. So I had to get a new one. And I love Dove. It's my favorite, favorite like lotion and moisturizer, like cleanser brands. And so I bought the Dove for sensitive skin in this little jar. Um, this doesn't have a smell, of course. It is for sensitive skin. And the consistency is really nice. When you put it on your face, it like dries really quickly. So that's good too because usually I wake up in the morning, take a shower, wash my face, put on my moisturizer, and then put on like my foundation and stuff. And because this dries really fast, it saves me a lot of time from waiting until my moisturizer to dry. Because the other Dove moisturizer, which I love too, I just found it took a little bit while to like sink into your skin. So I really like this. It also is non, like it doesn't clog your pores. So that's good because I break out a lot. So love this. Um, oh, hee. another Dove product. I This is kind of like a random favorite video. But I thought I would share with you guys because... I know you guys all love nice smells too. I do. This Dove Beauty Body Lotion Cool Moisture. It's winter time here where I live in good old Winnipeg, Manitoba. <sighs> and I hate winter. It's so harsh on my skin, especially my legs, which aren't exposed to the elements, but they still like to get dry. So this stuff works really good and the smell amazing everything I'm gonna show you today smells really good so I'll just tell you that now um it smells like cucumber melon I if any of you guys like like that smell and it also on the back it says it has green tea in it like green tea like extracts or whatever so it doesn't smell like tea like I know what green tea smells like because I drink green tea love green tea but uh, this doesn't smell like green tea. It smells like cucumber melon, like body sprays and stuff. And it's really cooling, so what I do is like, I, I get out of the shower and then I put this on my legs. And then when I'm sleeping, it cools everything so it feels really good. But it's not so good in the winter to sometimes because sometimes it's really cold in my bedroom. This just makes me colder. 
but overall good. And it's really fast drying, so it doesn't, it's not like greasy. You know, some of those lotions are greasy and you're like, Ugh, this hair is bothering me. It needs to like hairspray or something. Bing, I'll flip it. Okay, anyways. Um, for your hair. Um, you know those silkeny things you put on your hair after you get out of the shower, blah, blah, blah. I usually use the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine, that little oil thing. The smoothing serum, there's the words. Uh, it's that leave-in thing, but with this you have to blow dry your hair afterwards. Sometimes I just don't have time to blow dry my hair in the morning. And in the morning I'm really lazy because I'm not a morning person. If I could sleep all morning and wake up like at 5 o'clock and start my day, I totally would. But unfortunately human beings don't work like that. So. I switched to this, BioSilk. I'm sure you guys are all very familiar with BioSilk. It's very popular on YouTube, lots of reviews on it. Amazing stuff. For the price, like this little thing is $15, but honestly, I've had this for about a month, and I've only used like that much. And I use it like almost every day. Not every day, but almost every day. Like I'd say every other day. Because all you need is like a, well my hair is long, so I use about a quarter size amount, about maybe that much. Just rub it in after you get out of the shower and then like comb it through. I find it kind of works as a detangler as well. So, and then when your hair dries you don't have like flyaways and all that stuff that we don't like. Then the next thing, this is from a brand called Lush. Um... I don't know, uh, I've seen a couple videos on YouTube about it. I don't know how popular Lush is and I don't know like where a lot of stores are, but we have one here. And I've been using Lush for a while, but I just never talked about it because, I don't know, I didn't think it was important. But it is, and I'm sharing it with you. Rub 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 by Lush. This is a shower gel, jelly thing. It's a body exfoliant. It smells amazing. It smells like tropical citrusy smells and like lemon and it's an exfoliant and it has like fine like sea salt in it and the thing that I like about this is it when you rub it on your body it the sea salts actually like dissolve so they don't like stay in your skin so that makes it easier to wash off because I know like with this sometimes I have trouble to make sure I get all those little beads off my face and they are orange so they're noticeable but this um, is really good it stays on your skin for quite a long time not quite a long time but at least a couple hours and it smells really good and yeah so I would definitely recommend this it's really good in the morning too, like you know, when you're all groggy in the morning and then you gotta get up, start your day. This is very like invigorating, it wakes me up. Then there's this from Lush. Lush has a wide selection of a bunch of like body stuff. It's called Lush Cosmetics, I don't know why, because it's not, cos there's no cosmetics. Unless you include lip balms cosmetics, but whatever. This is the, I, I wrote down the name just so I got it right, the Wiki Magic Muscles Massage Bar. <laughs> And it smells like very strong of cinnamon. If you don't like cinnamon, don't buy this because you won't like it because it's very cinnamony. What you do is you rub this on like sore muscles and aches and pains and it has peppermint oil in it so it's really mentally. And like after, give it a couple minutes to soak into your skin and it feels so good. I suffer from really bad like menstrual cramps and I need like prescription drugs for it because they're like so intense. Like if I don't have prescriptions, I'm in the hospital, seriously. And my lower back kills me, so this is really good. I rub it on my lower back when it's that time and within like 5-10 minutes when it soaks into your skin it like it gets really warm and warmy and very amazing so I love it so those are all my products I'm at 9 minutes 33 seconds so I'm gonna have to end this short if you have any questions comments anything please let me know and I'll do my best to get to back to you guys bye